Hey, what's up, guys? Let's talk about your assignment this week for the week of April 27th through May 1st. Uh, this week, we're going to do a dry run. We're going to see if we can write these things like we're going to do on the AP exams. So we are going to write full, shortened, I'll grant you, but full essays this week just to see how it goes and just so you can kind of get used to the timing. Uh, as far as how to do this, um, you're going to find the document sets on AP Classroom as we've done the entire time. Uh, I've just got WAP pulled up. I'm doing this for both classes, so a push your procedure will be the same. Uh, if you take a look at one of them, uh, it's going to be Unit 6 uh, for WAP, and uh, I believe Unit uh, 6 and 7, you'll have one from each for a push. But when you click on it, it comes up and all that kind of stuff. Once again, as always, um, well, WAP sure doesn't have anything at the time. Um, you're going to have to break these things down pretty quick. The, the document sets that I chose, I believe they have six documents, which on the actual exam, you're going to have five. Just row with six on this and it'll be okay. Um, you're going to have to break these down quick. So first step is going to be to break the documents down to help you guys out with that. If you go to the website, once again, I'm under WAP. Doesn't matter. A push, your uh, format is the same. I've included a DBQ organizer uh, under this week's assignment. So if you click on that and take a look, it's going to download. Maybe. And here's what we got. Now, you don't have a lot of room on it because I'm just trying to get this on one page. This will be pretty much what you work with. Well, it's page in a little bit. But it's what you're going to work with on the exam unless I come up with something different. But this is where you're going to break these documents down, just like we've done all year, just like you've done on everything else. Uh, the first thing I have on here is context. Do not sit here for 20 minutes and work on context. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not worried about that, but do give it a shot. Uh, for each document, I've got one, two, three, four, five on the first page here. You can do document six wherever you got to. Uh, also, if you print this out or if you can't print it out, if you find that it doesn't work for you, draw something out on a piece of paper. Find some way to organize it in this form because, as I told you guys last week, this is what you're going to use to write the essay. So you've got to have this on a piece of paper where you can start typing when it's when it's time to go. So for each document, uh, first box, the document number and the author, just put one and whatever it is. Then as you as you break it down, you got what we've done the entire time. What is the claim <clears throat> according to the prompt uh, for this document? What's the evidence that supports it? And then what hip component are you going to use? Don't sit there and try to figure out a hip component for 10 minutes. If it comes to you immediately, awesome. If it doesn't, move on to the next one. Remember, at the end of the day, you're only going to have to do two of these correctly, and you'll get the point. So I would probably do three or four, but don't sit there and get tied up on one. Just skip it and move on to the next one. As quickly as you possibly can, do this for every document. When you get done with that, then go to the second page or wherever you've got it written down or wherever it is. Um, write your thesis statement. On, on this page. That way all you have to do is type it when it's time to do it. And then also I've included outside evidence points to include. See if you can come up with a couple of facts uh, that can be included within the essay as you write it. If you can't, look, it is what it is. Okay, but try very quickly to do it. To help you with that, if we go back to the website. Uh, I've started on these. I've got them all done, but I'm trying to fill out some of them for y'all. You will have access to it before the exam, obviously. Uh, but an example of what these things look like uh, for WAP, well, just the first one here, Unit 4 Outside Information. I have picked out four to five things uh, for each major topic that you can possibly use. I don't know if you're going to be able to or not, but it's there for you if you need it. So you will need a copy of these when it comes exam day to be able to flip through very quickly. So opening it up, uh, you can see major topics right in here. And then for some of them, for a lot of them, uh, I put just kind of a little reference on it. Don't spend a ton of time working on these or looking at them. You're not going to have time to use them, to be honest with you. And I'd rather you take the time to do the documents. But uh, if you got some time and you want to, you can find some additional information or use anything else. This is just a reference list you can look at when you're taking the exam. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to use something from you know, the time period that applies to the prompt. So take a look at those um, while you're doing it. Have them pulled up or printed out 
or whatever. And I, I haven't really went through the document sets that indefinitely. I don't know whether you'll be able to use something, but you need to get used to being able to look at uh, look at them because that's all we're doing right now is just getting used to how we're going to do this. So pull the document set up, break it down. And then from there, use this as the reference to type your essay. Now, your essay is going to be, and I'm going to say this twice, three sections. It's going to be three sections. Section one, context and thesis. Section two is going to be one uh, grouping of documents uh, with your argument. Topic sentence has your claim. Everything else is your evidence from the document, your HIP components, explanations, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and in third section, will be your second argument, whatever it is. We're not going to do a close on it. We're not going to wrap it up and put a bow on it. We're just doing these three sections as quickly as possible and get it down as quick as possible so you can read back through it and see if you need to change anything. So three sections, section one, context and thesis, section two, one argument with a group of documents, third section, another argument with a group of documents. And then just use what you have on this thing. Like you don't have time to make it pretty. Uh, you don't have time to make it read perfectly. Don't worry about it. Also, while I'm thinking about it, and I will say this again a couple of times for the exam, like we did all year where you put your evidence and you put parentheses, doc two or whatever, we ain't worried about parentheses at this point. Put your evidence down and then just behind it, put doc two, doc three, what, whatever it is. Don't worry about parentheses. Don't worry about format. Just get something down that references that that is your evidence. So... That's what we got. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, you're going to have an hour to do each document set. Um, get done as quickly as you can. Okay, we're going to do an hour for each one this week. Next week, we're going to do 45 minutes. Real deal, real deal hopefully, game time conditions for it. And um, the biggest thing right now, I don't care what they read like. I don't care what they look like. The biggest thing is to get comfortable with the time and make sure you can get the stuff typed in and submitted within the time limit. So pay very close attention to time um, and all of that. So as always, if you guys got questions throughout the week, let me know. We will do a Zoom again, probably on Wednesday, depending on how things goes. So check the remind. Um, and I'll be sending the invitations at some point. But other than that, just try to get them done as quickly as possible. Do your best on it. I am obviously not looking for perfection, uh, but let's see what we can do. So you guys go get it. Uh, get on the people who haven't been doing assignments. Uh, I think we hit about 60% this week, which is very disappointing. So let's step it up a little bit, get these things done. Uh, these assignments will close at 7 p.m. on Friday. So make sure you get it done by then. Stay safe, be well, and um, we'll holler at you guys on Wednesday.